Around 90 veterans are in Washington, D.C. today, and it's all thanks to Flag City Honor Flight. Dan Cummins is again along for the special trip and joins us with more. This afternoon, our veterans with Flag City Honor Flight are spending the afternoon going through memorials that were built, of course, in their honor. People who served and uh, some paid the ultimate sacrifice to the Vietnam Wall, very personal for all of us of that generation. Charles Labiche is one, from Toledo is one of the veterans here today. You did not serve in Vietnam. Let's first of all talk to your, your son, Chris. What an honor to, to be here spending the day with your dad. I, I just, I, this is so cool to be able to spend a day with, with a, a guy like this that, that was in the Vietnam era. Definitely is. Um, just for him, I mean, first off, first off, it was a blessing for him to not actually go to Vietnam, but he still was part of a major war and you know, help, helping with uh, supplies and wherever he needed to go, he, he went. You know, we talk about World War II, the greatest generation, but your generation's pretty special too. You guys, many were called, you were drafted. Uh, and and uh, and the public did not like the war. It was really tough, and a lot of you guys in that generation talk about how this feels today to be with other veterans and kind of experiencing what it's like and, and kind of getting some healing. It just feels so great. Uh, I couldn't believe it with all the people I met and stuff. Because when I was drafted and come back home, there there was more bunch of chaos for black people that's in the military and and it was bad during the Vietnam War. I didn't go there to fight in the war but I stayed in the real and supplied the war. You know many of us put our time in and it's unbelievable to come out here and see such a beautiful thing on a beautiful day. Charles how many people, how many names on that wall do you know? I know three people on that wall personally that uh, we grew up together in Louisiana, two of them, and one guy is from Toledo that we went to Wade High School together. And uh, it, it was a sad thing to hear that those didn't come back. But it's a blessing for those that uh, came back to after service, and it's great. It's awesome. Well, Charles, thanks for your service, sir. Chris, have a great day today with your dad. Very you. special day here with your dad. We'll be back in the 5 o'clock and 6 as well with more coverage from Flag City Honor Flight in Washington, D.C. Back to you.